What up, what up, my guys? Welcome to another show, man. Just thought that I'd do a little night show. Um, I just want to say real quick, man, for everybody that's why uh, these night shows are supposed to be for members. <clears throat> But I am doing them for everybody. So, guys, if you would still like for me to keep doing these night shows for everybody at night, just the members, members need a thousand likes on this show. You don't have, I'm not asking you to be a member, not asking you to get shirts, not asking you to share a show, none of that. At the very least, you could do is hit the like button on this show. So, if this show gets over a thousand views, it should have over a thousand likes. Um, if this, if it doesn't get a thousand likes, guys, there will be no more night shows for everybody. It'll be just for the members. You see what I'm saying? So, I just had to say that. I feel like this, I feel like that's fair you see what i'm saying i'm not asking a ton so i appreciate y'all for tuning in if you like the show if you like the free info please hit the like button uh subscribe to the channel all that good stuff man you can share the show if you want you can share the word about the show if you want but at the very least guys please hit the like button that's all i ask all right let's get straight down business this one man because i gotta go eat some food uh <coughs> Only going through the games that I have somewhat a good feel for. So only going through five games tonight, one time for the one time. I appreciate everybody for tuning in uh, to the show, my guys. I appreciate y'all. But uh, let's get straight to it in this one, man. Not here to waste your time. Let's get over here. First game up. Let's go over to the streets of Cleveland. This one, Cavs land 18 points at the house versus the Grizzlies. Um, they're saying that Bain and Tri uh, Triple J are probably going to be shut down for the season. I don't really care. This is a Cavs spot. This is a Cavs get right spot. They're coming off three straight uh, L's. Now, unfortunately, they are coming back home after a five game road trip, but they played some tough teams. The one team that they played that's somewhere similar to the Grizzlies, they put up 129 points versus them. Um, and, and the game versus the Clippers as well. They got to be pissed off. They led the whole game. Clippers came all the way back. Paul George uh, basically hit a game winning shot over them. They should be pissed off. They are coming back home off a five game road trip, but this is a Cavs get right spot versus a bottom tier team uh, in the Memphis Grizzlies. I like Cavs team total over 113 and a half in this one, man. You just hope that they're not blowing them out too bad, start to take some guys out, and they only score up like 108, 110 like the Spurs did tonight. But I do think this is a Cavs get-right spot offensively. I think they go up here and put up 115, 120 on the Grizzlies in this spot, man. So not a ton to say in this one. I just I like Cavs they're over their team total total over 113 and a half in this one i'm not laying the 18 with them i'd lean that way uh Cavs could do whatever the hell they want to in this one i just feel like this is a get right spot donovan mitchell darius garland everybody man um uh, dominate this game man from start to finish i like their team total over 113 and a half i would lean towards Cavs early and often but uh just don't really want the spread in this one um, I, I like that. I am going to take over 113 and a half points for the Cleveland Cavaliers in this one. Let's go over to the streets of Miami in this one. Heat getting six points at the house versus the Mavs. Um, I do like the Mavs in this game. Unfortunately, like this line was at one. Like, Y'all know the vibes, man. When a team goes in a double overtime and these lines are already out, you can take the game already. So what it was at three and a half and then it was at four and a half. And then now it's touching six and a half here. So if you want the Mavs, you want to take this one tonight. But I can't say with uh with Kyrie playing 37 minutes, that kind of shows me that he's probably going to sit out in this game now both teams are in back-to-back -back, third game in four nights fourth game in six nights fifth game in seven nights for both teams here the difference is the heat are coming in um, the Heat are coming in off a double overtime game. So obviously that's a little bit different, whereas the Mavs had an easy game. They played, they won 130 to 104. But like I say, Kyrie playing 37 minutes and 18 seconds. And I don't even know why Luka had to play 35 minutes. You'd hope that they don't rest both of them. Like they need this win. They need every win. Uh, you, I mean, I'd say kind of be careful with this game. I do lean to the Mavs, especially with a little bit of a rest advantage here. But both teams are in fifth game and seven nights. So both teams are probably going to be super sluggish in this game. It could be a 
under type of game. I expect to punch a bunch of like flat shots, uh, some uh, some uh, shots coming off the front of the rim. As long as you get Luca and the rest of the guys, even if Kyrie sits out, I do think the Mavs should win this game uh, mainly because of everybody for the Heat. I mean, shit, man, they was playing forty seven minutes, man. Uh, Bam Adebayo, forty seven minutes, forty one seconds. Jimmy Butler, forty four minutes. Um, um, Tyler Hero, forty eight minutes as well, man. So their starters played a ton of minutes. Double overtime game. Uh, I do feel like this is a Mavs spot. Um, just know that, like, when you wake up, like, this this line is gonna continue continue to get worse and worse. But I just, I like, if the people that really listen to the shows and don't just come and watch at the end, you know, I'd say it time and time again. When a team goes to overtime or double overtime and they play the next night and that line is already out, you better hop on it because the line is only gonna get worse, guys. So I do lean to the Mavs here. I do expect Kyrie to likely be out of this game, but um, I. I and Terry Rozier probably comes back as well, but I do lean to the Mavs um, in this game, man. Let's go over here to the streets of Milwaukee in this one. Bucks getting the point at the house versus the Magic. Uh, I don't know, man. I kind of watched the replay. I don't know. I'm not even going to speculate. I hope that Giannis is all right, but I'm just saying um, – I don't, I'm not even going to say I, I like a lot of stuff. I'll go ahead and say, but I'm not even going to say, but um, I think the magic win this game. I'm not even going to say nothing about Giannis and the Bucks and possibly turn tank. You know what I'm saying? To get out, to get away from the Sixers in the heat. But regardless of all it, I think the magic win this game man. they've historically have gotten owned by the Bucks. They've lost nine of the last 10 games versus the Bucks as well. Um, I know that they're playing in Milwaukee and they had one in Milwaukee and forever as well. I'm going to have that info um, for you guys tomorrow, but they haven't won in Milwaukee since at least two, 2021 i'm gonna look back even further than that but i know they haven't won in milwaukee since at least 2021 um now i don't think the magic are the type of team i don't think they're built that way to to try and lose on purpose to try to get out of the uh to get out of the second seat i think they want all the smoke i think that uh, that second seat is up for the taking if the bucks lose both of these next games versus the magic the magic will get that number two seed i think that that whole conspiracy starts tomorrow i think the magic come out here with the win obviously they're on back to back have to travel from houston it's not a quick travel but uh and the bucks are fifth straight home games as well well, but without Giannis um, and I mean Middleton, he hasn't been playing back to backs. Now he could play, but some tells me that Middleton and Giannis might be out. they might be out in this game. We know Giannis out for sure, most likely. Middleton, he hasn't been playing back to backs whatsoever. If Middleton and Giannis are out, it's going to be really tough for the Bucks to have enough offense to go up against this sticky Magic defense. I'm hoping that Franz Wagner comes back in this game. I'm going to take the Magic minus minus one. Nothing's guaranteed, but um, this is somewhat of a little bit of a conspiracy. CJ spot and I got to put a little bit something on it. It's nothing major, but um, that's two plays for me. Cavs team total over and Magic minus the one um, in this one, my guys. Let's go over here to the streets of Denver. Nuggets land five and a half points at the house versus the Wolves. Both teams on the back-to-back. -back. Wolves coming from Minnesota. Nuggets coming from Utah. I do lean to the Nuggets um, in this game, man. The Nuggets are obviously the uh, – I'm not going to say that they're a much better team because the Wolves can't hang with them, but I just – I really feel like that the Nuggets, uh, like they are the better team, to be honest with you. They know it's at stake. If you want the number one – both teams have um, the utmost uh, motivation for this game, but I do lean towards the um, – because the Nuggets, they had a couple days off before their game in Utah, Minnesota. Uh, this is their third game in four nights with travel as well. They were in L.A., had to go home, and then now they're heading to Denver as well. It's not the best of travel spots uh, for the Wolves as well, man. So as long as the Nuggets bring that defense, um, Jokic is doing what he's doing, triple-double Jokic. Um, I feel like the Nuggets will probably come out here with the win. I'm not going to lie. That five and a half is a little sketchy, and I'm not betting this game, but I do feel like the Nuggets will come out here with the win. I'm pretty sure they want the number one seed. That way the, uh, the it has to go through Denver. We know that they have a high altitude. Um, they have a home court advantage. I'd lean towards the Nuggets here, uh, especially to get the win. I'd lean their way on the five and a half as well. But uh, it's definitely going to be a tough game, guys. I'll tell you that this is going to be a playoff style type of game. Wouldn't be surprised if it went under the total um, as well, man. Let's hope Nas Reed doesn't get uh, ejected out of the game out of after eight minutes, man. But um, and last game, of, let's go over here to the streets of L.A. in this one. Clippers getting two and a half points at the house versus the Suns. In theory, you'd like to take the Suns here uh, like early to bounce back. Absolute horrible spot. Uh, spot. I know it's tough, man, because people had got like minus three and a half with the Suns, end up closing at nine and a half. They got absolutely fucking rocked in that game. I'm talking about 37 to 10 in the first quarter. It was 23 to four. I'm looking at the score. It's 23 to four. They got smoked in that game, man. Uh, so when you get smoked and you don't even come to play, expect a better effort. Like when you keep chipping away um, towards the end of the game, expect them to come out with a lot better effort. Now, I'm not betting this game. Um, I, I mean, the Sun, the Clippers could just be somewhat of a bad matchup for the Suns, but that's two straight games where the other 
other team wanted it more than the Suns. Um, something tells me that they at least want to come out here with a little bit of emphasis first quarter, first half. This is not a game that I'm going to be betting, but the way that I look at these games, I expect the Suns to come out here uh, with some in intensity, at least to start this game and uh, at least have a lot better start in this game as well, man. So um, pr Harden's probably going to be back in this game, man, but I just feel like the Suns probably had a letdown tonight. They were like, oh, no Kawhi, no Harden. It's going to be easy. They went out there and got smoked from start to finish. Um, I feel like they should come out here with a lot more intensity and uh, and desperation here in the first quarter and the first half. That's just would be my leans for the game, my guys. But let me get out of here. Um, I'd say one, uh, one top play, I'd say – Cavs team total over, but I do like the Magic as well, laying their point there, man. It's going to be some tough games tomorrow, to be honest with you. Um, it's going to be a couple small plays for me, but I do feel like Cavs go out there and put up 120 points, and I think the Magic uh, want to get their win uh, more than the – I think they're going to be the more uh, motivated team. Let's just put it that way in so many words. Magic, Cavs team total over. Let's go 2 0 one time for the one time. If you're watching this show, this is a night show. These shows are usually for members. I know that this, this show is going to get at least two or 3,000 views, guys. Let's get a thousand likes. If you, especially if you're not a member, you don't have to be a member. But please hit the like button. These shows are supposed to be for the night shows. The early NBA looks supposed to be for the members, man. I'm just, I feel like that's fair. The least you could do is hit the like button. If we don't get a thousand likes on this show, there will be no more night shows for everyone, guys. So y'all help. I'm helping you guys. Y'all help me. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Let's go to Smack City one time for the one time. Uh, let's go two and zero oh one time for the one time. And I will be back tomorrow breaking down all the games. Might have some a little bit uh, more on some other games as well at 1 p.m. Eastern. Please hit the like button. Let's get to a thousand likes. One time for the one time. I'm out. Y'all have a good night.